Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we are going to solve this given system of equations x, y plus z equals to 20, 23. And the second equation is x plus y, z equals to 20, 24. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's the very first step we are going to do. Let me go ahead and label the first equation as equation number one and this second as equation number two and now we are going to find the value of x y and z now let's go ahead and subtract equation one from equation two and here i have copied down equations one and two as you can see and now let's go ahead and subtract. So therefore, I'm going to change the sign. This positive become negative, this negative, and this become negative as well. Let's go ahead and subtract x minus uh, x y plus uh, y z minus z equal to on the right hand side 2024 minus 2023 is going to give us just one. And now we can see x is in common between first two terms and here we can see z is in common in the last two terms. So let's go ahead and factor out x and we got uh, 1 minus y and here I'm going to factor out negative z from here. So that is going to give us uh, 1 minus y as well equals to 1. And now we can see 1 minus y is in common. Therefore, we can factor out 1 minus y times we got uh, x minus uh, z equals to 1. And now we can see we got two factors on the left hand side. So therefore, on the right hand side, 1 could be written as 1 times 1. And the second scenario is negative 1 times negative 1. 1. So we are going to investigate two different cases when it is 1 times 1 and the other one is when it is negative 1 times negative 1. And here are our two cases. 1 is when 1 could be written as 1 times 1 and case 2 when 1 could be written as negative 1 times negative 1. As you can see in this uh, next step, and now let's focus on case 1. We got 1 minus y times x minus z equals to 1 times 1. So that means I can write them. I can write 1 minus y equals to 1. And the other one is x minus z equal to 1. And now let's take care of this very first equation. 1 minus y equals to 1. Let's go ahead and subtract 1 from both sides. So there we can see 1 minus 1 is 0 and 1 minus 1 is 0 as well. So therefore negative y turns out to be 0. That means our y value turns out to be 0. And now let's go ahead and substitute y equal to 0 value in this uh, equation 1. And here's our equation 1. Let's go ahead and plug it in. So x time y value is 0 plus z equal to 2023. 20, now we can see x times 0 is 0. So we got 0 plus z equal to 2023. 20, that means our z value turns out to be 2023. 20, now we are going to replace this y equal to 0 value in this equation 2 as well. And here's our equation 2. Let's go ahead and plug it in. So we got x plus y value is 0 times z equal to 20, 24. And this is going to give us x plus 0 equals to 20, 24. So that means x value turns out to be 20, 24 as well. So therefore, for case 1, our x value is 2024, 20, y value is 0, and z value is 2023. 20, so thus here are our values for x, y, and z for this first case. And now let's focus on this uh, case 2. And in this case, we got 1 minus y times x minus z equals to negative 1 
times negative 1. So therefore, we can write this one as 1 minus y equal to negative 1 and the other one is x minus z equal to negative 1 as well. Now let's go ahead and subtract negative 1 from both sides and we can see negative 1 and 1 this is gone. So we got negative y equals to negative 2 and if we switch these signs so that is going to give us y equals to 2 value. And now let me go ahead and call this x minus z equal to negative 1 as our equation number 3. Let's go ahead and manipulate this thing. Let's move this uh, negative z on the other side. So this is going to become x equal to z minus 1. And now let's go ahead and plug in, in this uh, x equal to z minus 1 value and y equals to 2 value in equation 2. And here's our equation 2. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. In our case, x is z minus 1. So I'm going to replace x by z minus 1 plus y value is 2. So I'm going to write on 2 times z equal to 20, 24. Let's go ahead and add 1 on both sides. So this is going to be, this is gone by the way. So 3z turns out to be 20, 25. Let's divide both sides by 3. So therefore, our z value simply turns out to be 20, 25 divided by 3. Here's our final step. Let's go ahead and find the value of x by just plugging in this z value in this equation 3. And this equation 3 could be written as x equal to z minus 1. Let's go ahead and plug it in this z value. So x is going to be equal to z in our case is 20, 25 divided by 3 minus 1. Now let's manipulate 1 could be written as 3 divided by 3 or this is same as writing x equal to 20, 25 minus 3 divided by 3 as a common denominator. So therefore our x value is going to be simply 2025 20, minus 3 is going to give us 2022 20, divided by 3 and this is our finally x value. So thus here are our x, y and z values for this case too as you can see over here. And here are our both solutions. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.